All right, so this is the demonstration for impressionism. And as you guys can see, I've got very small amounts here of paint mixed up because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going back and forth between these colors. Um, <clears throat> as you guys can see, uh, I have base tones down here already, so I put in some basic darks and some basic kind of middle ground values. Um, and uh, with impressionism, it's important that you lay in the darks first. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take black, and for this uh, color scheme, we're just going to go ahead and call it monochromatic. Uh, so I'm going to take a little bit of black and a little bit of red and kind of mix them together uh, to lay in the darks of the, of the foliage of the tree first. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm kind of laying in basic brush strokes to be my dark values, but I'm not worried too much about blending it. So I want to let the, let the brush stroke kind of do the work for me. So I'm going to come in here and get all the darks in laid in first. And now with the tree bark, I'm going to go ahead and lay in the darks while I have dark paint on my brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of vertical strokes to kind of talk about where the darks start to lie on the tree bark. And this works with pretty much anything you're making that has any kind of texture. You want to generally keep the brush strokes going in the direction of the textural marks on the actual object or water or whatever it is that you're doing. Like I said, with Impressionism, it's not important that you focus on detail. We're mostly focused on light, shadow, and kind of mood. Right? Um, now for the grass, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to once again change the way my brush strokes are heading and I'm going to lay in just some basic darks and lights, <coughs> starting out with the darks first. I'm just going to kind of cover up these little white spaces because we don't want any white to show through. Generally speaking, if you were doing an actual painting, you'd want to paint the background first before you painted this foreground. All right, so now that I got that kind of stuff laid in, I'm going to come back in and add a little bit of white to my red because you never want to use just pure white with Impressionism. You want to get a good blend of whatever the light color is and white. And now I'm going to come in and start adding in the highlights. And I'm adding in the highlights in a very similar way. I'm just letting the brush stroke just kind of show. I'm laying them in right next to one another and letting that create what's known as an optical blend, which means if you get a little farther away, it'll come together. But up close, it looks a little messy. And for the tree bark, I'm going to do kind of a similar pattern to what I did with the darks, but now I'm laying in the lights instead. Getting a few smaller strokes to talk about this, where the smaller leaves are. <clears throat> And so that's Impressionism in a nutshell. Oh, I forgot about the grass. Let's go ahead and lay that in now. So bringing in my lighter value of red here, I'm just laying it in and letting the individual strokes kind of show, create that grass texture. <clears throat> 